are here at the Rockstar Energy Drink Mayhem Festival. I'm sitting down with Clown of Slipknot. The show last night was sick. As usual, you guys are bringing it. You have a book out, Apocalyptic Nightmare Journey, photography book. I never knew this, but you've been into photography for the past decade. Tell me about the book and the content. Well, basically, the book has been being made for 11 years. It's inspired by me not going to college and proving to myself that I didn't give myself a chance to learn. Uh, so I decided to make my own college out on the road where I'd get a four-year degree, a master's degree, and hopefully a PhD in medium format Polaroid. <clears throat> so medium format is 120 millimeter film. But you put a Polaroid back on the back of the camera. It holds 10 Polaroids. And I would pull the Polaroids and I would manipulate them. So the book is full of uh, manipulated Polaroids. So the point was to try and teach me something, you know, to search for something, you know. I was attracted to the Polaroids because of instant gratification. Sure. Seeing something in my subconscious, pulling it, and seeing what I believed in. So the thesis that I've turned in to myself, it, it breaks down to this. The world wants everything to be perfect. Everybody tries to have perfectionism. So I would pull the Polaroid, deconstruct it, de destroy it, um, demanufacture it, create something original, and to me that became perfect because it could never be recreated. It's just like if you and I were to look in the mirror together, of course you're female, I'm male, but we'd look in the mirror and we would admit to each other that we do not look alike. That's original, that's perfect. Life's a gift and you should use it. So. I kind of destroyed the idea of things being perfect by creating something original and then admitting to myself that that's perfect because it could never be recreated like you could not or I could not. And sure, you could scan it or take photos of it, but not even I could recreate my photos. So it's been, it's been in the making for 11 years. It's been done for three. You guys also have the first ever mobile app, Wear the Mask which is so freaking cool. Tell us about the features of that. That is something that, I mean, you want to talk about a genius. The clown is out of his mind. This was like, this was his baby really from start to finish. And the great thing about it is no two masks will look the same. And, you know, by, by answering the questions and putting the mask together, you basically fill a part of your own Slipknot band. But then you have to wait for other members to come through and you know answering the questions in the way that you do and then they join your band so it's crazy like I mean you yeah you answer these questions you get your mask and then either you join someone else's band or you start your own Slipknot band so it might be a year before your band is complete you know but then if I have my way there's got to be a way to take those avatars basically and insert them into video games. And I don't just mean rock band. I mean, you should be able to take that and go into like Call of Duty or some weird crazy like shit that like character. that. Exactly. So there's a lot of potential. There's, I mean, the, the, the sky is kind of the limit when it comes to that stuff. So, but right now we're just kind of starting with that, seeing what happens and we'll go from there. Where can people get the app and when? Um, you can get it, uh, I, I think you can get it, I mean, We've got it set up for uh, iPhones. We've got it set up for Androids. Yeah, um, I believe there's a link on our website. So go to our website. We'll at least have information for it. In the rain, kill